The final example of a time and flow visualization in RAW that I want to show you is an alluvial chart, also called a Sankey chart. And this is one that shows flows between different categories. Now for this one, I'm going to use a different data set. I'm actually going to use the cocktail data set. So let me come up and change that. And you see we have the cocktails, the proportions and the ingredients that go into each one. And so let's come down to this. This is the one that's selected by default. And here we have just two boxes that we can drag things in. So what we're going to do is first pick the steps. And that is the terminus points, you can have several, but we're just going to use two, where I'm going to put in cocktail into steps. And you see we have our canvas here, but there's nothing in it. And then I'm going to pick ingredients, I'll put that beneath it, I can get more than one in there. Oh, look, now we have a very pretty chart with these lines that connect everything and you can see what ingredients go into each one. We can throw in one additional variable and that is the parts or the proportions of each ingredient in each cocktail. I'm gonna put that one right there. And now you can see for instance that gin and tonic consists mostly of tonic water. And you can also see that gin and tonic has the more ingredients, at least in terms of measured in proportions as the others. You can see that vodka shows up in more of these than anything else. And then we have, you know, mint only shows up in two things. And it's a neat way of looking at the relationships between categories. Now I'll admit, it's a confusing mess. And so this one really just kind of gives a general impression of how each of these connects with others. And it can be a little hard to make it through. But it does get people's attention. And it does give a good general impression of what's going on. And so depending on your purposes, this might be a very effective visualization, especially when you consider that you can have multiple steps in between, if you're looking for changes between several different categories. And that might be one of the important strengths of an alluvial chart in raw.